The 6'2 right-hander, 26-year-old Dean Kramer, numbers off the hook this year. Began the year on the IL, straining oblique muscle, but since then on five starts, how about that 1.29 ERA? He's given up three earned runs or less in every start so far this year, and currently 18 and two-thirds innings of work without allowing a run. The 2-2. Breaking ball, Kramer put him away. It was an elevated curve. Garcia nicks it into the mitt of Rutschman, and Kramer's first strikeout gets him out of the top of the first. Dane Dunning this afternoon for the Rangers, and you see the overall numbers, but Dane's been really good lately. Three of his last four have been quality starts and the ground ball rate, third best in the American League. That's what he does so well. He has allowed nine home runs in those 88 innings. A swing by Santander and a high drive to deep right center field. Tavares and Adolis are back, and Adolis makes the catch on the warning track, and that will close out the inning. As Rutschman tries to snap it 0 for 18, let's have a walk in there. A little dribbler here, maybe this is going to snap it. Dunning to it quickly, just in time at first. Some of the folks in the Orioles' dugout don't think so. Certainly Brandon Hyde's going to check with the replay review room, but the call is out. I don't think Dane Dunning realizes how well Rutschman runs. Dunning gets to it in plenty of time, but then just kind of half efforts it over that way. And there's a look. And I tell you what, if that left foot of Rutschman got Ultimate to the bag, the let's see, did he reach it or is he short? Oh, that is close. Did he get the left toe on there? Now he drug across it, but the ball was in the glove already. So Rutschman gets there first, but the, the question is, does he actually reach the bag? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. 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 Good thing he wears a 13 and not <laughs> an 11 and a half. Yeah, this should be a quick review. Arauz playing at third base today. Arauz to the right side and a base hit. It's stuck through the hole. Rutschman trying to run on Garcia. He gets it in front of the cannon, and now Arauz is in a rundown with Hayes at third. Arauz is out at first, and Hayes cannot score from third. But the Orioles do get the first run. Rutschman comes across on the base hit from Arauz. The 1-0. This time he takes one upstairs, 2 0. Brandon Hyde's going to come out of the dugout. Ask for a clarification on that last pitch. Did Mateo make contact with the ball? Oh. Or catches interference, maybe? Definitely catches interference right there. This play is obviously in a review. Did not seem the catcher's interference was called on the field. It was just a call of ball two. But the Orioles who've won one challenge already are hoping to win another. Oh, it's a big call early in the game because obviously Mateo can get on. You know what he can do is come to stolen bases. So catcher's interference is the call, and the Orioles have won two challenges in just over two innings, and Chris Woodward is not happy about it. So Mateo on at first base. Mullins now the batter. 30% caught stealing rate in his career, Valoria. No attempt here, and Mullins flares one down the line in right field. Fair ball, big trouble. Mateo dashing to third base, and a stop sign at first. Now the ball was not fielded cleanly by Garcia, and Mateo scores. An RBI double for Cedric Mullins, and it's 2-0 Baltimore. And Texas will draw in the infield for Santander. This one on the ground, second base. Simeon to the plate, and they will throw out Mullins. So they're going on contact, but Mullins out by a mile at the plate for the second out of the inning. And Santander is on with the fielder's choice. This is really well executed by the Rangers and Marcus Simeon. You have good speed, so that's why they decide to go with the contact play. And Cedric Mullins down there at third base. What a pick by Simeon and a good throw. You want to up the line a little bit, maybe not that far, but it worked out either way. It's a really nice play. Adolis up here now, infield looking for the double play. Pitch to Adolis and a high fly ball hit the short left field. It is Hayes in and toward the line. He makes the grab. Here comes Smith. The throw comes into third as it's a sacrifice fly for Garcia, and the Rangers are on the board. It's the Orioles two and the Rangers one. Garcia with his 51st RBI. And here's Nate Lowe. He is flied out and pumped down. Oh, two. And Lowe serves that one out to the gap in left field. That gets down base hit. Simeon scores. Seeger heads back to second base. He got about halfway to third, but he holds. And now the game tied on the low single. Mitch Garver has a chance to untie the game. He has flied out twice to right field today. And this ball hit well. Deep out to left. That has a chance. It's gone! A home run over that brand new and very big wall in left. And that ball was smashed by Garver. A three-run shot. And the Rangers have their first lead of the afternoon. 
Here's Mullins. In the center field from Mullins with some pace, with some distance. We have liftoff. There's the home run swing for Cedric Mullins. His first since June the 7th. And the Orioles, after Texas scored five times in the top part of the inning, the Orioles get one back. In the left from Odor, slicing and off the glove of a diving Duggar. Rutschman will pick himself up, go for third. He is safe, kept the foot on the back. Odor to second behind him in a sinking line drive. Puts a pair in scoring position. And Jonathan Arauz is the batter. He has singled home run and grounded a second. Switch hitter batting left. That's on the ground. Oh, it skips under the glove of Lowe. He got nothing, and the Orioles like it. Two runs in to tie the game. Leody, 0 for 3, two strikeouts, and a liner to third that was dropped, and uh, he was thrown out at first base. But and a ground ball to short. Good pick. Mateo spin a Rama. Oh, Trey dug it out. What a whirlwind that was. Oh, it must be the big leagues, huh? Or hey, Mateo covers more ground than Kudzu out there. I'm gonna tell you. And how, watch how quickly he spins around here. And a dart over the first. And what about the finish by Mancini on the back end? Wasn't even the lineup, Mancini. At first base, going to be the DH today, but a late scratch by Mountcastle. Man Mancini with a nice pick off the dirt. And CNL Perez appreciates it more than anybody. So here comes Jorge Lopez, who is appearing the first time since Saturday, and he blew his second save in as many games. He comes on in a 5 5 ball game. And the Ranger leadoff batter in the ninth is Marcus Simeon. Oh, this one hammered out to left field. If that stays fair, it is. It stayed just inside the pole. Marcus Simeon has given the Rangers the lead in the ninth. A three-hit game and the tenth home run of the year for Marcus Simeon. It's six to five. And it'll be Joe Barlow trying to close things out here for the Rangers. 26 games on the season for Barlow. You can see the 13 saves that he has this year. And he will start with Trey Mancini. And Mancini yanks one down the left field line. A leadoff hit for Trey. Got a hanging slider and pounded it in front of Duggar. And it'll be up to Rutschman, who's now going to bat left-handed against Barlow. The tying run is McKenna at first. That's into right field. Garcia going back on it at the wall. It is over his head and kicks away. Here comes McKenna. And the game is tied. Adley Rutschman comes through with the Orioles down to their final out. A ringing arm. Smith pops one in the right. Santander is there. Santander makes the catch. Hayes will be the runner at second. Odor, Urias, Mateo to try to win it for the O's. And Jorge Mateo will be the batter. Oh, he's hit. A walk-off hit by pitch. Hayes scores, and he'll have to help Mateo, who got absolutely drilled to first. All he needs to do is touch first to seal the deal. He will hobble his way there. There's your Kurt Gibson moment. A Gatorade bath after a walk-off hit by pitch. The Orioles win it. One in the ninth. And a beautiful, painful ending in the tenth.